Hey y'all, we're here to talk about the final concept in unit two, and we're going to talk about circles in the coordinate plane and their equations. So the first thing I'll introduce to you here is the general equation of a circle. It's this equation right here. And in order to write us the equation of a circle, we need to know two things. We need to know the center of the circle, and we define that using these coordinates h, k, h is an x value, k is a y value, and r is the radius. So if we look over here, r is distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. And my center is h comma k. So in this picture, my h comma k, my center, is actually 1, 2, 2, and my radius is 1, 2, 3, 3 units. So let me show you an example. If I have the equation of a circle and I want to know its center and its radius, the first thing I'm going to do always is start by writing the equation of a circle right underneath or you can go on top of the equation that you're given because it's going to help me realize what things should actually be. So if I want to write my center I need my h and I need my k. h comes from the number in the parentheses with x. Since this is a minus and the equation is a minus that means that h is a positive 2. And you can think about that as what number do I plug in for h here to make x minus h turn into x minus 2. And that number is going to be a positive 2. Over here, I need to think about what number will I plug in for k to make y minus k turn into y plus 3. Well, to go from minus k to plus 3, I need to plug in a minus 3. So the center of this circle is at 2, negative 3. Right here I have the radius squared is 15. So I can do a quick calculation here. Solve a quick one-step equation. We don't want the radius squared, we want the radius so we can square root both sides and we can say that r is equal to the square root of 15. So pause the video here and try this problem and I want you to write the equation of a circle with this center and this radius. And as I always do, when I have some sort of formula, I'm going to write it. And this way I'll remember it. Even though this formula ends up on your formula sheet that you can use for tests in the SOL, it's still good to know it uh, so you don't always have to go back and check. So I'm going to plug in what I know. Negative 11, 6 is my center. So that's my h, comma, k. So h is negative 11. I'll plug in here. k is positive 6. And my radius is 4. I'm not replacing r squared. I'm replacing the r. So when I plug in my radius, I have 4 squared. And I can simplify this and make it look nicer. The minus minus 11 is plus 11. And I can leave the right side of my equation as 4 squared or 16. I like to write it as 16. I like to actually do the square of the radius. And that's it. We're not looking for x. We're not looking for y. We're looking for an equation. So we should have an x, we should have a y, and it should look just like this. We should have something squared plus something squared equals 16 or 4 squared.
Pause the video again here and find the center and the radius of this circle that I've given you the equation to. Again, I like to start with writing the equation and I'll write it underneath. You can write it on top. No reason why either is better. And now I can figure out my center. Remember, my center is HK. What number do I plug in here for H to make X minus H become X plus 9? That's a negative 9. To make Y minus K become Y minus 13, I need to plug in positive 13. So my center is negative 9, 13. I can write a quick equation to find the radius. R squared equals 7 squared. I can square root both sides, and I get that r is equal to 7. So this equation, this circle, is centered at negative 9, 13, and it has a radius of 7 units. Go ahead and try these two problems in your notes, and be sure to be ready to ask questions about them at the beginning of class. Good luck.